Welcome back, everybody. Today we are talking about the horse update, the PTB update that's out there, and the first wipes for August 2023. And yes, we are talking about Rust Console Edition for the PlayStation 4, the Xbox One, Next Generations, and everything in between. And I'm Jade Monkey. All right, all right. Let's go over here and take a look at some of the horse stuff because we've had a few questions and to kind of let you know how things are going. So the horse update is out on PTB. You can play it. You're not going to find a server because you need to do a new download. We've had that question quite a bit, which is totally fine. Um, so you have to search in the Microsoft or Sony store Rust Console Edition Public Testing Branch. If you have Deluxe or Ultimate, you can download it. And once that downloads, launch that. That's where the horses are at. You'll see ranches and a bunch of improvements, a bunch of uh, NPC mission givers. It's been fantastic. Um, there's been a lot of performance increase over there. By the way, if, if you have the baseline version and you'd like to upgrade it, it's the Dark Camo Combat Pack? Is that right? It's I don't know. I always forget the name. Anyways, just look in the bundle list and you'll see PTP access along with the Dark Camo set and um, I think some Rust coins as well. Anyways, once you get that, that's like an upgrade path. I think it's like six or seven bucks USD uh, last I checked. So even still, uh, the upgrade path is very cheap. So there's no reason to repurchase. Uh, okay, so um, there was a bit of performance stuff that happened, but literally they fixed it in like 24 hours. Now, it's not to say things are perfect. Things are still in PTB, which is totally fine, totally fine. Um, it's just, uh, but we're probably looking at least one more PTB update, maybe two before it hits main branch. And if we're going off of historical data, we're going to say it's probably about a month and a half out and at least one update um, because we do have like rocks glitching a bit. Um, you can still walk on them, but like terrain rocks like this can disappear sometimes. Not really sure what's causing that, but I'm sure that's going to be a fix down the road here. So be sure to check it out. It's definitely worth your time. Um, mobility, just having a form of transportation is absolutely just the best. And even performance alone on main branch, or I'm sorry, testing branch with the horses is fantastic. And I think you'll find it pretty hard to go back. Um, it's been a lot of fun. So like I said, just give it a chance. You know, it doesn't mean you have to stop playing on the server you're on or whatever. You can always come out here and give it a shot. And yes, there's ranches, there is NPC mission givers. There's all kinds of like new additions happening here. There's a couple uh, revamps on the monuments and stuff. It's really great. You should really check it out. Okay, so let's go on to the wipes here. First things first, I think we got monthly over here, if I'm not mistaken. Monthly, August 3rd, 2023, we have what's called a no wipe. And that means you keep the blueprints and you keep the map. Now, as far as at the end of the month, it is a scheduled soft wipe. I'm not sure if this main update for horses is going to bring in a hard wipe or not. So plan for the soft wipe and we'll let you know if they kind of change your mind or change their mind about it. Excuse me. And um, honestly, if you're playing on monthly, try weekly. This doesn't mean you have to leave your monthly um, server. If you don't want to, you totally can. And kind of get your toes wet a little bit. Definitely jump in even before the, um, the Thursday wipe uh, for weeklies and stuff. You can definitely go in there and start stacking BPs now if you want to. Just give it a chance. Sometimes like the change of pace, the Zergs that aren't necessarily like up your cheeks as hard as they are in monthly, it's not bad. Um, I always recommend people just give it a shot. Like I said, it doesn't mean you have to abandon the server you're on. Sometimes it's fun. Like, especially if you've got a nice foothold on your monthly, um, you know, just pop out there and give it a shot. Or if you got rated, check out the weekly. Well, you know, you got nothing to lose. It's nice. It's fun. It's good stuff, man. Okay, so on to the weekly main branch. We have August 3rd, 2023. We have the first soft wipe of August 2023. And what that means is you keep the blueprints and the map wipes. And that uh, comes back up at 2.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 11.30 a.m. PST, and 7.30 p.m. BST, if I have all the time conversions right. And it does go down 30 minutes before that. So it takes them roughly 30 minutes to kind of convert everything and uh, well, convert to do the wipes and stuff and then come back up. Um, we will get a special item set rotation, I believe, on this Thursday. And, uh, yeah, I think that's what's going to hold there. And also, a lot of people are asking about PTB and stuff because we have a lot of people playing out there. Just go like, okay, so there's kind of a rule with the PTB stuff. It can wipe at any time. 
Um, but just uh, until they say something, just plan on whatever the title is for that server. That's going to be its wipe schedule. So it's going to follow main branch pretty closely. But just remember, if there's some kind of major update that comes in that's going to fix things and they need to wipe, they'll just wipe it. doesn't necessarily even have to be on a Thursday. So you always kind of live with that in the back of your head or whatever. So basically, if it's weekly, it, it wipes the same as weeklies on main. And if it says monthly, it's going to wipe the same way that monthlies do on main branch. So just kind of follow that rule of thumb, I guess. Is, is that the right? terminology so if you are playing on the ptb or even if you want to get ready for this fantastic update we do have the horse barn bunker base this is a modified wedge bunker base and it is spectacular it's great for solos duos even a trio and it, you can get this bad boy up and running within like 20 30 minutes of a wipe so it should already be up on the end screen and hopefully we'll see you if you see the badge downstairs there that says live stop by and say what's up and hopefully we'll see you in the next one love you bye oots, oots.